I went with work to Freiburg in Germany. And uh, so I was chatting to some Germans there and we started to talk about the issue of genocide. And then one of them told me that, but I think that at one of the universities here, there must be skulls. So, and I said, are you sure? Yes. I said, how can I go there? So they gave me an, a, a number, the contact detail of the director of the archives at the Ludwig Alberts University in Freiburg. So I, I sent an email to this person. I introduced myself and I said, I would really appreciate if I can give, be given a chance to come and see these cars. When the story broke out about that these cars are found in Germany, are there where they are, uh, made some people to realize even people have died 100 years ago, they can return to haunt you in one way or the other. What happened in this church in those years oh, is very difficult. It's painful. What happened to human beings by the people who is, who is power, the religion was used uh, like collecting people together, but in the church, th bad things happen in the church. Like when I told you, when I told you now, is that the the, the 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 pregnant lady, he was given the head of his husband, or the head of his small kid. The wife must take the meat out of this head, so that they can take this skeleton in the box to transport it or to ship it to Germany. So it's why it was painful, and it happened in the church where I'm standing here. It's, it's painful, really. It's not easy. When we arrived there, I think they realized that we want to take pictures, and they said, no pictures at all. And then he said, OK, we will take you down to the archives. It's a lot of boxes. The, the skulls are mixed up. We don't even know which ones are coming from Namibia because some are also coming from the aborigines in Australia. And I said, it doesn't matter as long as I see that the, these are skulls. So we went down there. But before I entered the room, I said to them, I want to talk to my sisters. We wrote to the German government, we said, we want the skulls of our people. They belong in Namibia. They don't belong there in, in Germany. And then the German government attitude was, we don't talk and negotiate with groups. 